Hello, drivers. Today, I want to talk to you about how we drain our airlines on a Peterbilt. Uh, most of all the trucks are about the same. All the tractors are about the same, but I'm going to show you how exactly on a Peterbilt, where and how we drain the lines. First off, let me tell you why we drain the lines. The airlines and the air tanks can build up moisture in it, uh, and it can get it gets condensation in it, it gets oil in it, and they can freeze in the wintertime, and you don't want your lines to freeze and break down. Not to mention the maintenance that it causes, your air dryers, uh, even your transmission. You can spend up to $5,000 on damages by not draining your air tanks properly. So I'm gonna get out of the truck real quick and I'm gonna show you how we do it on a Peterbilt. So let's go show you. All right, so here I am down here at the Peterbilt. Most of the Peterbilts are gonna be the same. Let me show you. You see right here this line? There's a line right here and there's a line right here. Basically what you wanna do is you wanna hold these lines down, hold them completely down and drain all the air out of it. That's gonna get all the moisture out of it. Uh, you could hook a bungee cord to both sides and hook it right here to the steps because it takes us a few minutes to do it. Like I said, the book says you should do it every couple months. I do it every three or four weeks. I want to make sure that I'm keeping my tractor good and running. Also want to make sure that I'm not in a cold situation where my lines are going to freeze. You never want to do that. If you got some value from this, just hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more maintenance tips and CDL tips. This is Truck Alive with Sean. Let's get it.